Okay, uh, so this is our last video on translations. So this is just an example question I'm going to do on the kind of questions you're going to get in the exam on uh, translations. So it asks you here to identify Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 and Z5. So these are five different complex numbers, five different points, and you need to pick which one is which based on this information here. So it says a Z5 is equal to the conjugate of Z2. The imaginary part, so that's what that means here, imaginary part of Z5 is greater than zero. The real part of Z3 is equal to zero, and Z1 is equal to 2i multiplied by Z4. Okay, so when you see a question like this, it can seem a bit overwhelming, but uh, you just go, you look at the points kind of, and you look at the piece of information, you pick the easy ones first, and then it's a process of elimination after that, okay? So we're gonna look at this one first, number one. You don't have to start at number one, but this happens to be an easy one. So Z5 is equal to the conjugate of Z2. So we know the conjugate is just a reflection of itself through the real axis. So these ones here are prime targets. The rest of them, these aren't exactly straight over each other. And so none of these can be the uh, Z2 and Z5, so it has to be these two. So now we don't know which one Z5 is, we don't know which one Z2 is, but the second piece of information tells us here, so the imaginary part of Z5 is greater than zero. That means it's plus. So that means that this one has to be Z5 because the imaginary parts, remember this is the imaginary axis, so this means it's gonna have a plus i at the end of it. This one's gonna have a minus i because it's below zero on the imaginary axis. So that means this one here we can say is Z2 and that this one is Z5, okay? So now we're almost halfway there. Okay, the real part of Z3 is equal to zero. So we're gonna look up, and that means that this one here is gonna be Z3, because remember, this is the real axis, so this is anything on this line here, anything on the imaginary axis, has a real part equal to zero, yeah? So that means this one here is gonna be Z3, because the coordinate of this is just going to be, say if this is up, three spaces or four spaces, it's going to be plus four i. There's no there's no real part because the real part is equal to zero. That's what the piece of information here tells us. So now it's just this one and this one, and one of them is Z1 and one of them is Z4, and we have to figure it out. So a lot of people will fall into the trap and they will say that this one here is Z4 and this one is Z1. Um, also, first I'll explain why. So one of them is going to be, so you multiply uh, something, if you multiply this one by i, you'll rotate 90 degrees to about here. And then if you multiply it by the two, it's gonna to rotate to here and then go twice as long. So these ones are definitely Z1 and Z, uh, Z4. A lot of people will just say that this one is Z1 and this one is Z4, but make sure not to think that. So what it's saying is, so basically I'll, I'll tell you here, this one is Z4 and this one is Z1 because if we multiply Z4 by two, it'll go out to here and then by I, it'll rotate. So now it'll be at the same place as Z1, okay? So a lot of people kind of get it backwards in their head and they say, oh, if that's 2i by Z4, then that has to be whichever one. So you have to try to think of it that way, that whichever one you multiply by 2 and then by i will be in the same place as the other one, and you sh it should make more sense which one's Z4 and which one's Z1. So hopefully that all made sense. To, if you see any of these in an exam, again, it's just process elimination. Pick the easy ones first. You have to know all of the rules. Uh, that we did in the previous videos kind of and uh, just get as many as you can if you can't get the last few just guess them but if you if you know all the rules there should be no problem doing it but uh, make sure to practice this a lot because it does come up in the past papers quite a lot so i hope this helped and now it's just up to you to practice these kind of questions yourself